Okay, so again, the Rayleigh genes basically said that dp dA, the power uh, radiated by the black body per unit area per unit wavelength, is equal to 2 pi c over lambda the fourth times the average energy per um, per mode. And they again assume that e bar is equal to kT. And what we are going to now assume, or what we're going to use, is this expression for the average energy per mode. Okay. And so when we plug this in, we get uh, 2 pi. Um, so this is this is I should just point out this is Rayleigh gene so that nobody gets confused here. This is from the Rayleigh genes derivation. So now we're going to use this expression. So it's 2 pi c over lambda the fourth times now our expression which is hc over lambda times e to the minus hc over lambda kt divided by 1 minus e to the minus hc over lambda kt. Okay, so um, we can uh, simplify this expression uh, further. Basically, uh, we can divide the top and bottom of this uh, of this fraction here by uh, of this quotient by by the by the numerator e to the minus hc over lambda kt. Okay, so the, and group terms. So then we get uh, two pi hc squared over lambda to the fifth. And then uh, we can again. So now, if we divide the top and bottom by by the top, then we get e to the um, positive h c over lambda k t uh, minus one. Okay. And um, that is the final form of this. Is the Planck's this is Planck's law expressed in terms of wavelength and um, it exactly describes the black body radiation spectrum that we've discussed okay so here I've shown I'm showing now the uh, the black body spectrum that we showed in last lecture um, as a function of wavelength the intensity which is proportional to the power radiated per unit area okay per unit wavelength and so you can see that this uh, this this very unique shape with this peak. Uh, this will actually uh, this this function actually describes that, and um, uh, very precisely. And it also can be used to derive um, both Vian's law and Stefan the Stefan Boltzmann law, which um, I'll let you do in your homework. Um, so now, um, so basically, Planck sort of solved this conundrum, this uh, ultraviolet catastrophe, by assuming that light or that energy comes in chunks, okay, uh, in discrete chunks, uh, which are some multiple, which are a multiple of some fundamental uh, energy unit, H nu, okay, and um, that assumption is um, basically comes in right here. That the energy um, for a particular mode is equal to uh, some number, some some uh, integer times a fundamental energy unit h nu. Okay, and when you do that, then you get the um, you get Planck's law, uh, which again resolves the ultraviolet catastrophe. Okay, so the key thing here is that we see once again, as we did in Compton scattering, that that uh, energy, electromagnetic energy comes in discrete units. We now call those units photons. They didn't know that yet. They hadn't developed that, um, uh, they hadn't, that language wasn't widely used then, but so Planck again shows that energy comes in discrete units and um, and by making that assumption uh, he uh, resolves the ultraviolet catastrophe so that now this this assumption now is completely uh, consistent with observations for the black body radiation spectrum and that is um, again evidence that indeed uh, energy comes in discrete chunks which we now call photons. Now now we're going to do another experiment uh, the photoelectric effect which shows this as well.